is the dream Sam Smith's living right now. Adele's best-selling albums made her an excellent ambassador for Brits stateside. Let's go! Crazy, crazy. And 1D have already achieved more chart success than the Beatles internationally. In fact, music exports contributed £2.2 billion to the UK economy last year. But if you want to make it big globally, you'll need more than a large overdraft. Enter the Music Export Growth Scheme. Admittedly not the catchiest title, but it is a government grant of up to £30,000, designed to help UK acts have success abroad. Take rising star Dan Kroll. He's one of 13 winners this year. Dan supported Bastille, but the best he hopes is yet to come. I've already been able to tour and go over to places like the US and over to Brazil and stuff like that, and so it's amazing, but obviously some of those trips were made on my own and now it's time where I'd really like to take the band and put on a a proper show for the people of that that country. Other winners include singer Kate Tempest, <laughs> Kitty, Daisy and Lewis, three siblings in one band. You perhaps haven't heard of all of them yet. Looking at the latest figures, one in every eight albums sold globally was by a British artist. One Direction may only have an average age of 21, but they do have the biggest selling album worldwide. And last year, Sam Smith became the only artist on the planet to sell one million albums in both the UK and US. The body that represents record companies told us to make it like Sam Smith, those albums won't sell themselves. To support an artist overseas, you need to have a good team around you. So that money might go to support uh, touring costs. It could be hiring a venue, paying for the session musicians who support the artist on tour, hiring a good marketing promotional agent. But for winners like Dan Kroll today, it's about much more than money. But dreaming big. Minnie Stevenson, five minutes. I wish that